This is going to be a quick demo to show the PV locator script working. So first things first, let's actually get the window open. So we need to come down to the bottom right corner of Maya and click our script editor button. And that brings up in the script editor. Since this is a Python script, we want to make sure that we're on a Python tab. And the first thing we want to type is import, followed by the script name. So rr underscore sub underscore systems underscore PV locators with a capital L. On the line below that, we want to retype the script name, followed by dot window underscore creation, open and close parentheses. So once we have that typed in, we can highlight both lines of code and come up to the execute button, the blue play arrow, and we want to click on that. And since we're done with the script editor, we can close that window out and focus on the actual script interface. So in my scene right now, I basically have four IK systems, um, two for the arms and two for the legs. And right now they are being affected by icons. Cool. So everything's working nicely. The only thing is I don't have that pull vector constraint yet, so I can't really control my elbows or my knees. And that's what this script is supposed to help us with. When we apply a pull vector constraint, a lot of times if our icon isn't placed right, we're gonna get values on our joints. So we're not being as clean and meticulous as possible. So in order to get this script to work, really all you have to do is select the root joint of your system. So if I want to make sure that this icon is placed properly for my left arm, I want to select the start of my left arm joint chain. And once I have that selected, all I have to do is click apply and it goes and creates a locator for me. And we can see over here in the outliner, it creates a null group which if I select that has values and constraints on it, so that's why it's null. It's not a valid object that I really want to be playing around with. And underneath that, I have a locator that is clean and clear and free to be used. And if I move him back and forth, this is the plane that I want my icon placed on. So all I need to do is position this locator wherever I want it in relation to my rig. And once I like it, I can take my icon and hold V and snap it to that locator. Cool, since I've moved him in space, he picks up values. So let's go ahead and freeze transforms on him. But after that, I can select my icon, then select my IK handle, come into constrain and say, yes, I would like to do a pull vector. And now if I check out my joints, everything is still nice and clean and zeroed out. And we can do this for all of them. snap to the locator. Awesome. Select my IK handle. Oops. Let's freeze transforms first. Constrain and pull vector. And here we can see my joints are still zero. And when I move my icon around, I'm affecting my system. Cool. So one other piece of functionality that the script has is this mirror feature. So once I like where this particular locator is at, instead of having to recreate it, I can just click mirror and it will flip it over to the other side for me. So I can take my icon and now snap to the mirrored location. Freeze transforms, select the IK handle and do another pull vector. And here my joints are still zero. Um, as far as the objects that get created inside the scene, once you're done with them, you can delete them without any adverse effects happening to your rig. Or if you're like me, you can go ahead and hide them and hold on to them until you're ready to push the rig um, further down the pipeline to the animator. In my personal opinion, it's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. So like I said, until I am really done setting up the kinematics um, rig, I will hold on to these. And then once I know that I'm done with all of my systems, I just come in and say, nope, you guys aren't needed anymore. And then my scene becomes that much cleaner. So that is the PV locator script. If you have any issues with it, um, feel free to contact me. If you want, you can go in and change the naming um, so it fits your particular workflow. I am totally cool with that. This is free for you guys to use. So have fun.